Hello and welcome to the next video in the 72DL Plus series. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to set up a 125 MHz transducer, the M2104, to measure thin metal shims. These are single layer metal. Um, the thickness on these shims start at around as low as 0 0.0015 inches or 0 0.035 millimeters, and they go all the way up to about 9 thousandths, 0 0.009 or 9 mils, and that's 0 0.229 or 229 microns. Okay, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is we want to click on the burger menu, click on my applications, and I'm going to disregard what I was working with, and I'm going to create a new application, and I'm going to give it a name. And in this case here, I'm just going to call it S-T-E-E-L-001. I'm going to click on the close the keyboard. I'm going to go to the next, the arrow key. And this is a single layer application. So I want to also select what frequency range I'm going to be working with. Since I'm using the 125 megahertz transducer, I'd like to make sure that I'm set to 20 to 125 megahertz. And it's a single layer application. This brings me up to my transducer uh, setup and selection screen. So first thing I want to do is select the correct transducer. I'm going to be using the 2104 125 megahertz transducer. Select that. I'm going to be doing a mode three measurement. So after the surface echo, I'm going to be looking at multiple back wall echoes. Um, select that. And then I need to go to my material tab. And I'm going to select the material that I'm going to be using. So in this case here, I want to be using steel. So if I scroll down the list, I can get to a stainless steel. I can also look at my functions here, special functions. I just want to make sure I'm in high resolution. At this point, um, I can press the home key, which is right under the knob, to return to a measurement screen. So now what I want to do is couple to my material. In this case here, I'm just coupling to uh, the thin shim. I've got water on the surface of it, and I can see my echo here. At this point, I'm just going to freeze everything by hitting the play pause key, which is under the cow key. You can see that this will freeze the display, and now I can adjust my range and delay and all other parameters based on the the frozen waveform, which is a really nice feature on the 72DO+. So the first thing I want to do is I want to adjust my delay and then adjust my range. And I'm also going to want to hit my Waveform adjust and go into my initial gain and just turn that up a little bit by using the knob. No, oh, actually, I need to adjust my main bang blank first. So now that my echo is within the window, um, I can now go up and adjust my initial gain using the knob. I'm going to turn that up. And we can see we're starting to see our echoes here. Now, the one thing that we do notice is that we are kind of making a measurement starting on the trailing edge of the interface echo. So what I want to do is get away from that a little bit so I can get to these clean multiple echoes. So what I want to do is I want to touch on the interface blank and then use the knob to just kick that out a little bit. So now that I'm actually making detection between multiple back wall echoes, now I can also go back into my range and spread this out a little bit so we can see it a little bit clearer. Okay. So that looks pretty good. So I'm going to unfreeze this by hitting the play, uh, pause play key, which is under the cal key again. I'm going to now go back and couple. And it's supposed to be reading 1.5. It's reading pretty close. Um, let me go to something in the middle here. It's supposed to be 5 thousandths. It's reading 4 point, uh, point, 4.9. And this is supposed to be reading about nine. So what I'm going to do is just to make it easier, I'm going to go into my setup and settings. And I'm just going to go to measurements. 
And my units, I'm just going to change my units to mills. Okay, and then I can hit the home key under the knob to go back. And now I'm going to be displaying my, my measurement in mills. So you can see it's reading 8.73. This one is reading about 1.6, 1.6. So it's off a little bit. And my 5 is reading pretty close to 5. Now I could go ahead and do a calibration, uh, cal velocity, cal zero. That's going to be demonstrated in a different video. At this point, I'm all set. Looks like I'm getting good detection. I can now go in and save my setup. I click on the burger menu, then click on Save Application. I can hit Save. And this will save any of the changes that I made along the way. This concludes the video on how to set up the M2104 125 megahertz high frequency transducer on thin steel in a Mode 3 measurement. Thank you.